Hey, what's up guys? Look, this is an impromptu review. I was not planning on doing this. I was actually getting ready to tear my setup down so I could set up for another review that I'm gonna be dropping today about a projector. But I was looking over at my arm right here, my uh, boom arm, and I said, you know what? I need to review this thing. This is the Rode PS1, I believe that's the model name. The reason why I wanted to review it was because I was having so much trouble buying this thing, man. I saw the newer one, I bought it uh, about a year and some change ago, and I ended up returning it because it just felt cheap. It was like noisy and it was flimsy and I just felt like it was gonna break. It didn't even hold the mic very well. Um, and so I just returned it and just went without an arm for a while. Up until now, I've been doing a lot of live streams, so I wanted something with a little bit more convenience. So I decided to take a look at the newer arm again, and I was like, nope, not going down that road again. So I decided to spend some extra change and get the road. And I had a struggle with spending that extra money because it's not exactly cheap. I think you can get it for about a hundred bucks if you catch it at a good price. So I watched a couple of reviews on it. Everybody said it was sturdy, it was worth the money, so I decided to give it a shot. And yes, it is definitely worth the money, and I'm gonna give you my input on it right now. So if you look at the base right here, it's already attached to the desk. I'm gonna dismantle it in a few minutes, but I mean, it is attached to the desk. Desk. It is not moving. Only the places you want it to move. It's not flexing or anything like that, not making any noise. And it stays where you put it. And you can see right there, you got some, uh, they give you these two Velcro straps so you can run your wire through there. Speaking of the wire, let's go ahead and go up. So you got this groove that you can run your wire through or over, and then there's another Velcro strap, and then you come all the way down. My bad, you get three straps. And then you come all the way down to the business end, and that's where I have my Rode NT-USB. So yes, it is very compatible with this mic. I don't have the shock mount, and so far I haven't really needed it. I don't think I've been producing any noise or anything like that from the arm, it's just that good. But it attaches right there, and this is the business end, and I'll take this off in just a second after we go back to the base. But I do believe that if your terminals are if your connection terminals, mine are a little big on this one right here, that's huge, right? But if your connection terminals are small enough, you can probably run it through this little inlet right here and then through here over the groove and then the backside, let's go around there. Okay, so now we're on the backside of this thing. So I, I believe you can run it all the way down and let it come out through here. And that just provides a more seamless look. Then you won't have to use these cables right here, but I don't mind because it's still a pretty clean look, especially, you know, I like that road branding, man. I just like the way that looks. But then since we're back here, let's go ahead and look how this thing is set up. So you got some more road branding on the back man they are proud of their name but they use this really really sturdy and well-built c-clamp so if you can see it there you just rotate this around and sandwich your table in between the clamp and you are good to go and it's not going anywhere man this is a i mean i, I don't have very much experience with uh, boom arms but this one is definitely sturdy and in my opinion it's definitely worth the buy so if that's all you needed for the review then there you go i'm gonna talk about this thing a little bit more let's go around to the business end of this thing so we're back on the business side of this thing and i need to go ahead and disconnect my microphone here so it's spring loaded so i'm holding on to the mic and the uh, boom arm because I don't want the boom arm to fly up. Uh, pretty much any amount of weight will keep this thing in its place where you put it. So don't worry about the thing just flying all around and not being controllable. All right, so this has got some weight to it. This is probably about three pounds or so, but it doesn't take that much weight. But right here, you got a really, really long uh, quarter inch uh, screw right here. This is huge, man. <laughs> that is, I mean, that's, that's like excessively long, but it, you know, you got plenty of thread and then you can just rotate this up to kind of, you know, tighten it up if you need it. And then, like I said, it is spring loaded. So if I let it go, let me just hold this right here. If I let it go, it's going up to the top. And I actually like that it's spring loaded like that because it, it, it actually gives it a better, a better feel. It, it makes everything kind of smooth and it works with you rather than you fighting with it, trying to get it to where you want it to go. Now, as far as getting this thing out of here, all you really have to do is just pull up on it. And it's just a little, uh, basically a pin that goes in that hole. Let's put it back in there so we can talk about it some more. Now, it does stretch out. I forget the specs as far as the reach, but man, it's got some extra reach. It's definitely longer than the newer version of this thing uh, is definitely longer. You can see here, it goes clear across my table. That way, I mean, it's got plenty of reach. I'm not worried about that at all. So as far as locking your mic in place, it's got two chrome wing nuts right here. Basically, you just turn them uh, clockwise to tighten them up and you're good to go. Uh, I like that it has these two these two knobs right here because a lot of them are tension mounted and you know they kind of wear over time. Then you got to break out special tools to tighten them up and stuff. So this just makes sure your mic is nice and secure the entire time it's on there. But it does come with another way to mount it. So I have mine mounted with the C-clamp because I didn't want to drill any holes in my table. 
But if you want a like permanent fixture, if you want it mounted permanently to your desk or tabletop, you go ahead and pop this in here. This actually comes in the box with it for a permanent solution. It's got road branding all around it. I don't know if you can actually see that with the glare, but it's basically this, you, you just drill a big ass hole. I don't even, you just get this. <laughs> this is probably a three quarter uh, inch uh, hole you gotta drill in your tabletop. And then you put that on there, that's your collar. And then you screw that from the bottom of the tabletop. Once you screw this nut on there and sandwich uh, your table in between here, you're good to go. This is a permanent fixture. But as you can see, I had mine locked on very tight. I wasn't worried about it coming loose or anything like that. Uh, this is just something if you want a more permanent solution uh, for your boom mount. I'm not using it because I don't wanna drill a hole in my table. Although I do really think it's great to add in the box. But that's your review for the uh, Rode PS1. Like I said, this is an impromptu review. Wasn't expecting to do it. Just decided to dismantle my stuff and said, hey, why not? I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff. I'm just doing reviews, man. But before I get out of here, y'all go ahead and tap on that like button, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that little bell. That thing is so important. That's the way you get all the notifications when I put up new videos. But until then, y'all be cool, and I'll see y'all at the next one.